Hello guys, it is Drew here from Lone Fox and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video. This video is going to be just like kind of a fun one. I've actually been working on this video for like a week now and it's just been taking me a lot longer than a typical video because today we are making DIYs using a eBay mystery box. You might be asking yourself, what is an eBay mystery box? Well, People on eBay are actually selling these boxes that are priced at different like price points. So there's like a $20 mystery box, a $50, $100, all the way up to like $20,000 mystery boxes. I don't know who would buy those, but people on YouTube do for some reason. And basically I decided that I wanted to buy a $50 random mystery box full of random things. So that's exactly what I did today. I bought a $50 random mystery box and I'm gonna try to DIY some home decor using the random objects found in the box. And I did go ahead and I already unboxed the box prior to this and I created the projects. And I do wanna say you guys, these projects that I'm creating this video are a bit of a stretch. Like they are not the most ideal DIY project. And a lot of these things that came from the mystery box are not really things you guys can find. So this is kind of just like a fun video. I hope you do enjoy. But time has come that we need to open up this mystery box. So let's go ahead and open it. All right guys. So I got the mystery box and I am so excited to open this. This is one of the $50 ones. I ordered two, but for some reason one did not get here. I have to like dispute it or something, kind of confused. Anyways, whatever is in this box is the basis for what I'm going to be DIYing today, which is kind of scary because I have no idea what's in here. Any guesses, anybody? Mm, a dildo, perhaps? <laughs> so let's open this up and see what is inside. It did say on the side of the box that it was four pounds and seven ounces, so that might mean something, but I'm also very concerned about what's in here. Oh, okay. This is usable. Whatever this is, I can make this into something. Is that a frisbee? I don't know. Get fit with Brooke Burke. Who's Brooke Burke? These are very DIYable. Like I can do something with this. It looks like plates, but apparently there's something for fitness. I have no idea. Brooke, can you please let us know what these are for? Oh my gosh, a dog leash. I can make something with a dog leash, I think. So this is my dog leash. It looks like I got another dog leash, which is kind of rude in red. Why do they give you two of them? I don't know, what can I do with them? Um, I got a DVD. Amazing. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pasta rake. Literally says pasta rake on it. <gasps> what can I do with a pasta rake? A travel camping sack. I'm scared. I have no idea what this is, so I'm just gonna toss it to the side. I got this. Luxury ring. And then the last thing I got in this box was this little pouch. It's mine. All right guys, so that's everything in my mystery box and I'm gonna have to attempt to create some items using the things I got in this box. So let's see what I can come up with. For the first project, I'm gonna be using the makeup bag that was in the mystery box. I'm also gonna be using some texture medium, a paintbrush, some white paint, and some crackle finish paint. So what I'm starting off by doing is taking my makeup bag and I'm going to be inverting it and flipping it inside out. And I just like the way that this looked a little bit more. I kind of like the texture of the edges. I'm kind of gonna be creating a shabby chic-esque slash minimal slash crackle finish white painter, which sounds crazy, but you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. And what I'm starting off by doing is using my uh, texture medium and I'm going to be painting this on the entire outside of the bag and we're gonna be coating this entire bag in white paint so we're gonna be covering all the green all the pink but what I'm starting off by doing is kind of giving it a hard coat finish because right now it's just a really soft sort of faux leather and what this uh, texture medium does is first of all it's going to cover up all the fabric on the interior and it's also going to be able to kind of be built up and you can create some really nice texture with this but it also is gonna harden down into a more hard finish which is what we want so I'm painting this on the entire bag outside. Don't worry about the inside at all, but I'm giving it a nice thick coating of this because once you paint it completely thick and let it dry, it's gonna harden down and it's gonna look amazing, guys. Like I swear to you, after I painted this on, I loved it. Then I went in and painted it white afterwards. So this is basically what it looks like with that texture finish on there. Um, and you can really create some nice strokes and texture. So next what I did was go in with my white paint and I just painted the entire exterior of the bag white. Um, and I only had to use one coat. I actually did like a little bit of that green peeking through. I thought it added a nice touch, but I did literally the top strip, the zipper, 
a little bit of the interior as well. That way when you put your plant in here, it's not gonna have that pink on the inside, but just paint absolutely everything white, which is gonna cover up the green and the pink and just give it that nice clean finish. And to me, this looks like a nice shabby chic, sort of minimal-esque bag planter, which I think looks really cool um, when it's completely done and it looks extremely nice with the plant in it, which you're gonna see in just like a couple minutes here. But once I was completely done painting it white, I also used a one-step crackle, which is just like a two-hour drying process. And I painted this on the entire bag, which gave it such a nice crackle finish, um, which I think kind of finished off the entire look of the bag and gave it that really shabby element. So this is the finished off bag. Um, and you can just add a plant and you're good to go. Up, I'm using those workout plates, some gold spray paint, and then honestly, everything else doesn't even matter because I'm gonna share with you guys like my process, but I actually didn't do it. So what I'm starting off by doing is just spraying these uh, gold, and I should have scraped those circle stickers off more than I did. I thought I got them scraped off pretty good, but you could still kind of see them through. So I had to do about five coats of spray paint to really get these fully coated, but they looked amazing when they were finished. And this process here, guys, I actually didn't end up using, but I wanted to share it with you anyways, just because it could give you some inspiration for another project. So I found these little sticks and then wood blocks that kind of connect together at the craft store and I glued them all together so they looked like this and initially I was going to create these and then paint them all black as shown here and I was going to take all of them and sort of place them in the center of the um, plates and kind of create like a little like lifted almost cake stand slash like catch-all tray but I ended up actually just um, not using these in the end but I wanted to share with you guys the process anyways because I thought that they were kind of cool um, and maybe can give you some inspiration <music> As you can see here, these are the finished brass trays. They look so pretty in the end. I thought they looked very art deco with the uh, brass on them. And I started off, my initial thought was to put these around the exterior, but when I put them around the exterior and put the second tray on top, it just didn't look amazing like it wasn't anything breathtaking i was like mm, this kind of looks a little cheap so then i tried this alteration and this alteration and this alteration i even tried this one and then i also tried this one and then i even thought i would try this one but honestly like none of them worked out i even tried this one too and also this one none of it worked out so i was just like you know what i'm going to give a glossy coat to the finish of this tray or to the I'm gonna give a glossy finish to this tray. And then what I did was I just glued them literally back to back and created more of a simple tray. I thought it looked a little bit art deco um, and really, really nice in the end. I love the outcome of it, but just with those black in the centerpiece, it just didn't look that great. So I think that this turned, just turned out a little bit easier and it also looks very simple. Okay guys, this project is so innovative. I think you're going to love it. I'm using the CD from the mystery box, some wooden square tiles, some brass spray paint, and then some hot glue. And I'm starting off by taking my CD and I'm going to give it a nice coating of brass spray paint on both sides. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And I think I did like two coats total. And then what I'm doing is using these little wooden squares I got at the kids crafting section at the craft store. And I'm going to be creating a base for our iPhone charging dock. Yes, I am creating an iPhone charging dock from this CD. Um, I couldn't think of anything to do with the CD and then it just clicked in my head and I was like we're doing this and honestly guys it worked out amazing and it's sitting by my bed right now and I'm so excited so what I'm doing is taking these squares and almost creating this like very octagon hexagonal shape around the outside just going around the exterior of the CD and I'm also adding an additional layer but I'm offsetting the additional layer uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting rather than having it um, just like on the first layer and I'm going all the way around gluing these around the outside Once you have them all added, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and then what I realized I needed to do was I wanted to give the top a nice glossy coat. So I used this triple thick gloss that I found in the paint section. And I just painted this on. And don't worry if you have brush strokes, they actually kind of level out as it dries. So I painted this all over the top of the CD to give it a nice finish so it didn't look very matte. And then I went in and I took my iPhone cord and I'm building up with hot glue, basically like a little wall around the top because you're gonna want the cord portion of this uh, cord to stick out of the CD hole. So as you can see here, I built 
put that up, then I'm putting it in the middle of the CD as shown here, and then I'm piping the most hot glue ever on the back side, making sure that the cord stays in place. Um, and you can put your iPhone on here and adjust it as needed as it's drying, but I just put a ton of hot glue in there so it's really, really like secure in there. And then what I did was I cut a little spot at the bottom because the cord needs to still come out of the edge, use some pliers to break that portion off, and then you're able to have the cord slip out the side. So when it's sitting on your desk or wherever it needs to be sitting, um, it's just easily, easily accessible and the cord can just kind of go out. It's not going to be tipping over. And then what I did was I realized that the iPhone kind of weighed it down. So I actually created a back panel. So I took a little piece of the wood and some of the glue and I created this back panel piece uh, just so that the iPhone would be able to be held up and it was a little bit more secure. So I glued that down. Once it was completely done, you can literally put your phone on this and it charges it amazingly and it sits on the dock perfectly. Project, I'm going to be using the two dog leashes uh, from the mystery box and also some clips I found at the craft store and then some quick dry E6000 and I don't have any dogs and literally none of my friends have dogs. I have one friend that has dogs. They don't need dog leashes or honestly I would have given them to them as opposed to make suspenders from them but I absolutely love the way the suspenders turned out so what I started off by doing was pulling out the leashes cutting them off then I cut them about 12 inches or so from the initial clip portion that would clip onto the like dog leash and I'm adding these little clips and these are just additional detail elements like they're not anything um, crazy that I'm adding on here so it's not necessary but I thought that just added a little bit additional like pizzazz to the suspender so that's what I'm doing it's super simple to do so I'm just using the e6000 folding it over on itself and then putting a little weighted object on it and this quick hold e6000 is amazing you guys it dries in like 20 minutes um, and it's literally cement so um, this is the e6000 I'm gonna be using forever because it takes so long to dry and then at the other side of the suspender, all you're going to be needing to do is add on a little clasp. So this is going to be clasping to the back center portion of your pants. And once it's all dry, that basically completes your suspender. Super simple, super easy, and very chic. And guys, that was today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you did enjoy those projects. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week on the channel. And before going on with your day, don't forget to also follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram for more behind the scenes type stuff and more photos um, and just inspiration over there as well. So definitely do so. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Link everything below, and um, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.